So how is everyone doing? This is Rama here from 2 to 4 Wheels, your one-stop shop for buying motorcycle and automotive parts. Uh, today I have a very uh, small and educational video of how to replace the cabin air filter. Uh, we were trying to replace that for my BMW X5 um, and we couldn't find anything in the service manual. It's a very nifty, very easy job. Uh, if I give uh, like the difficulty scale of 1 to 10, then I'll just rate it as 2 on the difficulty scale. It's as simple as, and as easy as it can be. Uh, so you guys can do it at home, save all the money to go out to a shop and get it done. And um, I'll also share uh, some links in the, in the drop down in the video uh, to where to buy and, and how to get it from us. We basically have three different manufacturers and brands that we, we sell. We have the Mahala air filters, cabin air filters. Then we keep the Mann, which is a German manufacturer. And we also have the KNN uh, engineering or KNN uh, cabin air filters. I just want to um, show this service manual of what I'm trying to tell. So we'll go to the mobility section in the BMW X5 manual, uh, or uh, that's the serviceability basically. And then the manual shows like, okay, we can open the hood, what else things can be done, but there's no reference or guide to to how to replace a cabin air filter or even like um, regular air filter, performance air filter or any other kind of thing like if you want to do an oil change or something. So basically um, like the job or the task is as easy as it can be and if you look like here um, there's a demo or the picture of uh, the service bay or the engine bay but like it does not specify anything of of replacing the, the cabin air filter. and and cabin air filters have to be replaced after every like the manufacturer recommendation is like 12 to 15,000 miles uh, but those are like in the countries which experience high dust or pollen um, in the atmosphere uh, for us uh, different manufacturers range between 15,000 to 30,000 miles and and getting it done each time at the dealer um, can be a cumbersome task uh, so basically, I'm just like putting a video together for everyone to see uh, how this can be done. Okay, for now, let's just put the service manual on the side and let's go and take a look at the, the filter that we'll be, we'll be using. Uh, it's a Mann Hummel uh, cabin air filter for the BMW X5. Uh, can be used uh, for the 2014 to 2018 BMW X5 X6. Uh, but it can also be used in the previous generations as well. So it, I think like the total, the range for the uh, the BMW models that this can use is like from 2010 to 2018. Um, um, I'll just head back uh, to the table. Put this um, on the side, uh, the service manual, and open the air filter, cabin air filter, um, just to show you guys the material for the Mann Hummel filters. Um, the reason why um, the manufacturers say that they need to be replaced after every 15,000 to 30,000 miles is because you know like when um, the fan is running um, inside the cabin and it needs to suck the air uh, basically if the filter is clogged or the filter is blocked by all the debris or particles um, or dust or pollen uh, the fan needs to run faster to make up uh, for the void and for the fan to work faster the power has to come from the engine uh, so basically we are uh, reducing the fuel economy uh, we only need two simple tools for finishing this job um, i just use the shop vac uh, to clean the debris the leaves over here and i'm just taking two flathead screwdrivers obviously different sizes just to see which one helps me easily to, to pop these rivers out. So here um, is the, the plate that we need to take out um, and we know below this the cabin air filters um, are located or situated. Uh, so I took the rivet out but um, after uh, looking at it uh, I, I believe there's no need to take the rivets out. Uh, so basically they have or uh, this um, plastic sheet is being held by three taps um, on three different sides and I started by pulling the one tab on the corner, then the one at the back, and then there's one in the middle. Uh, 
um, and I just pull this plastic um, cover out so once uh, you do that uh, you can just put this um, plastic cover on the side and guys uh, whenever you start this job please don't forget um, the work gloves they are very important in case there is any any sharp indentation in the vehicle we just want you guys to be safe um, I, I'm just showing like some areas that can cause a cut um, so just try to be um, safe uh, if you need work gloves I'll put a link um, in the video where to buy them from um, and then um, like once we take this plastic cover off um, so you see the black um, case over there uh, that houses both the cabin air filter uh, we need to take them out um, like I think it's an easy task just pulling it um, towards you basically outside like how we pull the cover out and I'm pretty sure this also has uh, tabs or like some kind of uh, lip to, to slide inside the car uh, so here let me just try wiggle it a little bit um, and see if, it, if I can take it out um, and then um, once it's out like I'll show you the, the filters and then uh, we can basically have a look at it uh, of um, what like how much um, clog or particulate matter there is on those filters finally I was um, giving it a shot like a uh, basically like trying to uh, push it up towards me and see I, I was able to take this cover uh, that holds the cabin air filters out um, almost there give me just a second okay let me turn this piece for you guys um, and if you see like the debris or the pollutants or the dust particles on the filter and there's a very interesting um, pollen that I see on the filter which is like this cotton wood um, that basically like after every spring season we have a lot of cottonwood trees and you can see those flying around so that is what the filter has caught for now um, and it's like basically loaded or we have plethora of them on the filter um, so I'll just take these filters out install the other ones on and then we'll put the, the cover back the sheet back and then test the, the fan inside the vehicle see if there's any odors coming also let me clean these leaves um, yeah I just wanna clean this area pretty good so that um, like once we put our cabin air filter back we have a, a clean um, zero leaf around the cabin uh, filters I just use the shop vac again to clean all the debris um, around the cabin air filter like the leaves mostly uh, now like I'll just extract these filters out they they are very easy to to pry out basically if you see there's a notch on both the filters you just need to pull them out that's it um, I'll just clean this cover as well once I just want everything to be ship shape before I put it back um, so I'll just use like a, a shop towel or like a, a microfiber cloth or a chamois to clean it up and then put the filters back okay let me open these um, cabin air filters again um, so that we can install them back I'll also show just a small comparison here uh, between the two filters uh, if you look at how bad the old one looks compared to the new one and also um, even the the like the the cotton gaze on this cabin air filter that we got is actually similar to what the BMW OEM filter is um, I know the, the OEM filter is made by Mala but um, we can again use um, KNN um, Manhamal or Mala anything like if you guys have any particular preference it's up to you guys okay so um, let me just um, also show if there's any direction on the, the old filter I couldn't find it uh, but like on the new filters you will see the airflow direction and the filters I can I think they are only one direction or omnidirection 
so basically like you or like you can only put them one way there's no other way to put those filters in the housing in this plastic housing um, and i'm just looking once in the in the manual if there's any other way but i don't think so um, i'll just put them um, inside Okay, so once you snap it in this housing, uh, I think uh, this is pretty good to go inside the vehicle now. And, and that is what I'll try to do. I'll just turn it around, just clean it again once using a, a shop towel or like a microfiber cloth and then be ready to put this back in the vehicle. I'm just trying to snap it back in. Um, this camera angle is not the, the best one, I, I guess, because you guys cannot see how I'm like trying to snap it back. Um, but um, let me pull it back and then I'll try to basically use the camera again and show you guys around. I was able to install this uh, cabin air filter housing back, if you guys can see. Uh, so there were three um, tabs, but I tried to push them back in um, nicely. And I was just showing you guys um, that basically I was trying to move this housing and I think they, it is very well seated. So I'll just bring this plastic cover that goes on the top back, uh, clean it up first, give me a minute and then um, install that and i think we should be good to go um, we'll again follow the, the same th directions what we did while opening this plastic cover so i'll install this tab at the back first um, then i'll install the one in the middle and the one that was closer to the rivet even though i was telling you guys that there's no need to pop any rivet out because um, it was just a trial and error for me Now that I have uh, put all the tabs back, I see that the plastic cover is also housed properly. Um, like I'm trying to pull it out uh, to see if it's falling out, but I don't see that. Uh, so let me take the camera with me and go inside the, the, the vehicle just to see uh, if the cabin is running fine and I cannot smell anything inside the cabin. Basically, that's the sign. Um, that the vehicle uh, cabin air filter is, is installed correctly okay let's open the door uh, try to put the key in ignition and then run the blower inside the vehicle okay i'll try to increase the speed to the max see if I see any debris or anything coming out if the blowers are working correctly now um, let's see they look pretty good like I don't um, smell anything usually if the cabin is uh, the filters are dirty you can smell uh, something inside so I think the job is well done uh, uh, the task was to replace the cabin air filter in, in this car 